Hey guys, so we're just going to finish off doing the coach roof now. I say finish it, start the start of the finish. So priming the front half. So I spent the last few days, I haven't got it on camera, just sanding and prepping and chiseling and cleaning. Um, it's all masked up, ready to go. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it's all masked up, so we're going to stick some 2K epoxy primer on it. Hempel light primer. Then I'll do what I've done before. Not today, but later on in the week, I will cover it. Just wet, plenty of wet 2K polyurethane uh, sand. Scrape it all off, clean it off, paint over the top. But I'll cover all that. And then we'll see how the coach roof looks as a complete thing. I've got more plans for back here and for the deck, but I shall cover that in later on in more detail. But I'm going to get on with this. Do people's houses and stuff. So yeah, I will. Well, what I will do is I'll tune back in when it's done. Show you how it looks. Just be white. But yeah, <laughs> speak in a bit. Okay, so we got. It's a reasonably thin coat, but I think you'll agree there's a noticeable difference. <laughs> I see it's still patchy, but I really don't care about that. I just wanted to get a, a coat on there as a, as a key, as an etch, so I can crack on doing the rest of it. Technically today I've got the weather that I could put some paint on there and sand it. But what I'm going to do before I do that is just fair. There's some few little bits and pieces around that just need a bit of fairing on. Um, but otherwise, looking pretty good. It's looking a million times better than it was. That's just a bit of primer on there. So yeah, I think next time I tune in on Foxy Lady, also I've got my other projects going on. I'm probably not covered already with the electric motors and etc. etc. But the next time I tune on with Foxy Lady, it will be uh, thick paint on there, a bit of sand, and getting her looking similar to the sides there. Happy days. Oh, it's a bit of it, guys. Good morning guys, a bit of an impromptu um, session on the boat. I was going to finish early today because there's no wind this afternoon. Uh, last night I had a few uh, unanticipated drinks. I was really tired anyway, and I have to take a day off sick. Um, so I'm not sick, I'm just, I'm just tired. The sun's out, I'm going to work on the boat. Um, so what I've been doing this morning is give it a final sort of prep and sand over and check for any high spots giving it a good mask up, cut the lines out with a uh, knife, mask up the hatches. I've been brave and not done these windows, purely because it's a southerly, so anything that's going to blow is going to blow that way, hence I've done them windows. And yeah, I've just, oh, I just noticed I actually cut this out. <laughs> so I'm going to do a walk around with a camera, I realise I've missed stuff, so I'm going to cut this line a bit better. Uh, then I'll mix the paint up really thick with the uh, the resin roller again roll it on thick starting from the high bit in the middle sprinkling as i'm going do a little bit of sprinkle a little bit of sprinkle to maintain that wet edge all the way down both sides and then leave it for two three hours sweep off the excess sand and uh reapply paint what i do is because i'm on my own it's a little bit breezy and there's boats going past and the boat moving around a fair bit I'll try and attach the GoPro somewhere where I'll capture bits and pieces and I'll do it, I'll speed it up with music over the top. But no guarantees on what I'm going to be able to capture. So you may see some footage in a moment.
Okay, she's done. As done as it's, it's going to get. So I've had that bit of tape over there. That's where the uh, deck organizer goes. So I've just left that nice and clean. Peeled the tape off. The rest of the tape is still in situ, so you can't really see any clean edges because it's some of it's you know it's on the tape. But yeah, it should be alright, I reckon. Give it a few hours. I'm gonna nip into town and get a coffee with Sam and then come back, sweep the excess sand off, make sure I've got decent coverage. Anywhere I haven't, I'll do the mixing a bit of sand again, just spread it over, but I think it's gone on pretty well. So yeah, time will tell. I'll sweep it off later and see what she looks like. Look pretty happy. Just gonna zoom out to get a uh, thumbnail snap. Hey guys, for a big area, I'm quite happy with that. It's probably 99.9% .9 coverage. The bits along here that are white have got sand in, hence why they're already white. There's a bit over there that might need a bit of a dressing. But when I get the next layer of paint on here, bits of sand will travel in the paint and I'll catch all these little bits. But if needs be, I can sprinkle a little bit on. But yeah, pretty happy with that. It's gonna give it a little while. Now I've swept all the sand off, the excess sand. I'm gonna give it a little while to bake in the sun. In a half hour time or so. Mix up some more 2K, nice and thick, loads of it. Roll it on there. Um, yeah, once it's on, we'll peel off this edge tape. I was gonna take the tape off now on the edges, but I realized that because the, the sand is gonna be in the paint, it'd end up going down the sides and stuff so I've held off and I'll do a coat of paint then peel it off while it's still drying uh, and we'll see how she looks and then when I get on there I'll peel off all these middle bits but until it's dry I'll, I'll leave it so I'll actually climb on there and get all them bits off and then uh, yeah and then potentially tomorrow maybe not tomorrow I don't know over the next week or so i'll give it coats as and where i can to get it the same sort of aggressiveness as the sides and a nice solid white color but overall pretty happy we we'll see how it turns out on the next coat hey guys not sure if you can see that on gopro We've got a seal swimming past i believe it is gavin the harbour seal <laughs> he's disappeared he's dived down now that's quite cool just doing a quick bit of fishing while I'm waiting for Sam to finish her online appointment and I've caught not quite a fish. Let me just bring this in. Oh, it is a blimmin' huge bit of wood. <laughs> My law has got hooked on. Look at the size of that. So oh, that's not a great thing for shipping, so I'm gonna get the GoPro turned off, get this out of the river and uh, yeah, and dump it somewhere. It's been a great thing, it's obviously come off a boat somewhere somehow in the past, but I'm gonna uh, get it out. It's not a bad little catch. That 30 foot, quite thick plies plastic, it's not wood. I'm even better, I've got it out. It's like corrugated plastic or something. No idea what it is, but now I've got the issue of getting it chopped up and getting it in the bin, which I'll do later. Okay, so she's painted. Um, I see the first coat is never 
particularly pretty with a patchiness but it's white it's going to be grippy unless you aim with the game I need to give it probably half an hour if not a little bit more just to let it go a little bit tacky and then I'll start thinking about getting tape up and try not to get it on places it shouldn't go so yeah I'm going to sit down for a minute and then get my gloves on and start peeling and I'll tune in once I've peeled it off just to see what it looks like and then for the next few days it'll be subsequent coats actually what I need to do once tomorrow probably is I'll take a hose pipe and just hose everything down to make sure there's no sand like it's trapped on electric box there so it's not going to blow onto fresh work um, yeah give it all a good hose down and then start hitting it with coats and coats and coats until it's level like I'm stood on now happy days okay nothing much has changed really but I said I'd tune in so I have just taking the masking tape off so there's still lots of sand everywhere that like I say tomorrow I'll have to get a hose pipe on it and just blast it all off just so it's all completely sand free ready for the uh, subsequent coatings but not too bad not too bad there's a few lumpy bits here and that's where I painted and put the sand on whatever I was doing I, yeah I've done that wrong really when I was laying the sand I can't remember what I've done now yeah I've rolled paint and sand together so it's made these high bits so whether I dress that or not or well, hopefully it just goes away when I keep recoating but otherwise pretty happy with that there's one bit that I needed to fair I run out of fair when I was fairing up everything else there's a bit here I thought oh, that'd be alright. I'm not going to mix up another batch. That's going to bug me now. That's going to haunt me. So I'm hoping when I put my 1200 rails in the front here, one of the feet lands where that is and sort of hides it away from me. But yeah, it's ready for a wash now, tomorrow. I'm now going to disappear, go and have some dinner with Sam. And yeah, I'll see you then. Hey guys, um, I haven't really filmed much because I've just been super busy. Just got in from work and had a little bit of time for going for one and going to the gym in a minute. So I've got the coupler done up on the Perkins M30. So I'll show you that another day. I'll go down and finish off the engine mounts, get that in, 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 and then start doing anything else. And I pulled out the old knackered exhaust, so take it force forward tomorrow and get a replacement one. But what the best bit I want to show you is uh, this the second coat on there. So still not brilliant, um, but it's a lot whiter than before. I showed you the bit I was going to chisel up and do again here, where it's quite thick. Uh, I decided against it. It's absolutely fine. Um, it might get to a stage where it bugs me that much. I do scrape it off and chisel it up and sort of do it again. But for now, <laughs> it's uh, plenty good enough. I'm going to leave the mask and tape on, see if I come back from the gym later and it's still light. I'll get another coat on there. Uh, and then another day when I've got a bit more time, I'll come all the way down. I'll, put, I'll sand all this and I'll come all the way down to the deck and the front and the sides. Just that's so all the same, same colour coverage. At the minute, it's very bright. But bear in mind I've done this God, a couple of months ago. It's faded quite nicely. Not hugely faded, but you know, it's took that brilliant whiteness off it. Same as the Dodger. It's not, it's not hurt your eyes white anymore, it's just a nice white. But yeah, just want to show you that. And uh, I should tune in and make some more progress. Hey guys, so in true Foxy Lady fashion, that last video was took two months ago, six weeks ago. Hasn't seen, a, hasn't seen a spot of paint since. Um, I've been really busy uh, with work, with cruises, actually using a boat, going out sailing. Um, and now I've got some emergency repairs that I'm carrying out, some quite big stuff. So um, I won't ruin the surprise. I'm waiting for the videos to catch up. I'm getting it all on video, what, what I'm doing. Uh, but some quite structural stuff on Foxy Lady. Um, yeah, so 
the method that I use, I, I've made a few small mistakes, but overall, really, really impressive. Really cheap. Uh, you can make it as tough or not tough as you want. You know, sort of the, the aggressiveness of the sand. Um, yeah, I just find it really nice, adaptable, cheap solution. But I see everyone's the. Uh, uh, I did look at uh, Kiwi Grip and stuff like that. The paint on anti slip, I wasn't that keen. It just didn't seem that non slippery. Um, and yeah, I, I, weighed, I weighed it up, pros and cons, and used the sand, and it's, it's worked lovely. So if you are wanting to do something like that and you've got any questions, then give us a shout. Drop, drop a question down below, uh, a comment, sorry, down below. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've covered most of it in the video. But cheers, guys. Have a good week. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit like if this video has been helpful. Helps with the algorithm, all that stuff. And I shall see you, I'll say next week, as soon as I'll get a video done. So I haven't done one for about two weeks. I've got the footage. I've just not had time. Um, but I'll do my best to try and get some footage churned out. Um, get, us, get us caught up on time. All right, cheers, guys. Have a good one.